guys, my name is Aaron Chalner from Forever Rovers, your Donkster Rovers fan channel, and we've won again. We've won again. We won 3 1. We beat Burton for the first time ever in the league. 3 1 away from home. No single player put a foot wrong. No player put a foot wrong, and I'm so flaming proud of that. So proud of that. And you know what? My man of the match, straight away, it's a guy that I've given credit for. I've not given credit for. It's a guy that I've criticised for not taking chances. But you know what? He got his seventh goal of the season this uh, tonight. Well, to this, this afternoon. For Jiri Okunabiri. When John Jules doesn't play... Play Okunabiri like that type of forward. Okunabiri is not a 10-yard box finisher. He's an 18-yard box finisher who will try it from a good distance. He's someone who might not attack the 10-yard box as often as John Jules. However, he's a clinical striker from 18 yards at least. He's so clinical, he beats off the men and he just absolutely does it. Absolutely does it. And you know what? For Jiri Okunabiri... Well done, my son. You today have proved where there should be no more doubters. You know what? I hold my hands up. I thought you didn't do well this season. Many other fans thought you weren't going to do well this season. And I apologise wholeheartedly. Because Fajiri Okunabiri has doubted me 100%. And Okunabiri has proved me wrong 100%. Fajiri Okunabiri today was an absolute miracle. A Christmas miracle. Send down the holy angels. We've got a saviour on our hands. We've proved today that we can win without Josh Sims. He's out for six weeks. He might not come back in a Rovers shirt. We've proved we can win without him. Because loads of rival fans will be sitting online, running their mouth, running their fat lips about, oh, you guys wouldn't have won without Josh Sims. You guys wouldn't have won without this player and this player and this player. Screw off. We win as a team. No one put a foot wrong. And Darren Moore has got this team clicking like a computer screen. We are clicking faster than Google with the best Wi-Fi in the world. Absolutely clicked together from the first minute to the last. Burton, I'll give them their props. They had a lot of possession, especially in the first half. They wanted to take some chances. They had a couple of opportunities to really take them. But I tell you something right now. We absolutely saw that through. We 100% saw that through. And Burton Albion could not hold our attack. Taylor Richards. We saw his best and his worst today. The worst being that inexperienced not needed tackle for the penalty that they got in the 44th minute for their equaliser. But I'll tell you something now. If you want to redeem yourself, that is how you do it, my son. With an absolute beauty that was as majestic as a swan gliding across the glistening lake. And it had more curl than pointy-toed shoes. Absolutely brilliant from Taylor Richards to make the third goal. And that second penalty straight after the equaliser from Burton... Ben Whiteman, captain leader legend, just showed exactly what he can do, my friends. He just showed exactly what he can do, my friends. And you know what? I've got a mastermind on, on my TV right now. A celebrity mastermind as I'm recording this. And you know what? Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Dun, dun, dun. We're the best. <laughs> now, you know, this, this, this game was like mastermind. We masterminded what they were going to do. And you know what? I'll give, pro I'll give props to Darren Moore's team selection. The big news was the fact that John Jules wasn't starting. Coppinger wasn't starting. Amos wasn't starting, uh, despite a really good performance from him. And, you know, we brought in the likes of Okunabiri and Cameron and John at left back. Uh, Joe Wright was on the bench. He didn't get used, but I've got a feeling he's going to either come off or, of the bench or start against Shrewsbury on Tuesday. But I'll tell you something now. John was immense. Okunabiri, immense. Absolutely immense. Absolutely could not fault a single player. John Taylor started today, put a good shift in. You know what? That team did really well. No one put a foot wrong today. Absolutely. Apart from that penalty instant, no one put a foot wrong. Um, and Darren Moore, mate, I rate that guy so much. 
Robbie from AFTV said on this channel that he was something special. Robbie from AFTV, the biggest, arguably the biggest football fan channel in this world, on this planet. Robbie from AFTV said on this channel, Darren Moore was something special. He is absolutely right. Good luck to Arsenal tonight against Everton. I don't know what the result's going to be, but I know Everton's going to probably smash them. I know that's what people will say. But he's right. He's right. Darren Moore is someone special. And you'll notice. You'll notice what the form's been like. You'll notice, don't you? You get the odd draw and loss here and there and stuff like that. And you have that bad patch a little bit. But I'll tell you something now. Does anyone recognise this kind of form? It's the same kind of form we had when we were promoted to the championship before. This is promotion form. This is the same kind of promotion form we had with Sean O'Driscoll. It's the same kind of promotion form with Dean Saunders. It's the same kind of promotion form as in the past. This is possible promotion form. And now we need to do it again on Tuesday. Beat Shrewsbury. Go top of the league by a point and keep it going. Do not mentally and physically drop the ball do not drop it because we need to show that we are a defending top of the league team because we are showing some signs we are absolutely showing signs under this manager that we could be a championship stalemate not just going up to the championship coming down to league one again and bish bash bosh get toing and throwing like a yo-yo we are not just that anymore we are a championship club. We will be a championship club. No doubt about that. Our time has come. I'm completely confident in this team. Absolutely 100% confident. We've had bad patches this season so far. The odd few games we've had a bad patch. But I tell you something now. We've come back and we've come back big time. We've got Shrewsbury on Tuesday. We've got Accrington who are putting in a decent shift this season on the next Saturday. But I tell you something now. We are proving every single doubter wrong and we're proving every single believer right that we can do something this season. 100%. Hull fans crying in their maulings. Portsmouth, they enjoyed it while it lasted last night. We are showing that we will be a force to be reckoned with. And you know what? If we can get some of these loanies on a permanent deal, Richards, um, if Sims is still here... Um, you know, all these different players, if we can get most or nearly all of these players on permanent deals, or at least some of them, then we could be a force to be reckoned with this year. So let's go through uh, the player ratings. I've got them written down just here. Um, Joe Lumley gets a 7. Didn't really have much to do, to be honest. I think Burnley in the attacking third was poor. Uh, Burton? Burnley? No, what am I thinking about saying Burnley instead of Burton? Burnley's next season in the championship. <laughs> um, but no, Burton's attacking third was quite disappointing in my personal opinion. Um, Joe Lumley didn't have much to do, but what he did do was really good. So I'll give him credit for that. The penalty he couldn't do much about, but... Um, you know, apart from that, it was just really good from Joe Lumley. So, hope we can keep him uh, past January. Uh, going into the back four, Brad Halliday gets a seven. Uh, I think he was brilliant. Really good in the right back position. Put in, put in shift. Good shift uh, up and down the pitch. And overall, decent performance. Tom Anderson, seven. Andy Butler, seven. Those two are forming up a decent partnership. And you know what? When Andy Butler retires from football, you know... He is going to be coaching that defence, in my opinion. I think he's Donny Bell's manager, obviously, but I think he can absolutely 100% you know, coach that defence and the Donny team as well. I think he could be a defensive coach for Donny Rovers because he is a solid piece of work, Andy Butler. Absolutely 100% solid. And he knows something right now. He is as solid as an unbreakable wall. You could grab a sledgehammer, you could try and cut it with a chainsaw, you can try and get an AK-47, you could try and blow it up with a tank. You couldn't break him. Unbreakable wall, Andy Butler. Did really well in the defence. Tom Anderson, same there, vice-captain. Showed exactly why he's deserving of this team. I think Anderson's out of contract in the summer, as well as like like Halliday, I, sp well, I spoke about Halliday, Wright, James and Taylor. I think Anderson's out of contract in the summer. If he is, he deserves to stay as well as those other four. Keep all five of them. Give Raven Hill his professional contract. Let's get some signings in in January and let's get promoted. In fact, even better, let's try and go for the title. Dare to dream. That's what John Ryan said. Why not? Um, left back, Cameron John. I'm gonna, I, I wrote down seven, but I'm going to give him an eight. I think Cameron John was immense tonight. 
you know what? Cameron John just proved exactly why he's so important for this team. And you know what? He's proved me wrong. I, when I saw him about an hour before the match at left back, or positioned at left back, I was thinking, oh no. Please no. Please not left back. That's not his position. But you know what? Fair play. He was immense tonight. Absolutely immense. I'll give him an 8 instead of a 7. I'm changing the script. Changing the script. Like the script. Danny Donahue's the script. I'm changing it up. He gets an 8 instead of a 7. Immense tonight. Uh, midfield. Matt Smith gets a 6. Decent performance. Uh, put himself about a bit. Overall good. Uh, ben Whiteman gets an 8. Captain leader legend. Absolutely brilliant today. Put himself about. Put in the attack. And just overall really good. Um... Going into the cam position, first of all, Taylor Richards. I, I was debating 7 or 8. I'm going to give him a high 7. Uh, I think he was really good. Physical. Made the mistake for the penalty equaliser for Burton. And then, uh, overall, that, set, that that third goal for Donny, his first goal uh, in, a, in quite a bit. I think that he's just he just proves why he should be a permanent player. Want it rumoured, like near the beginning of the season, he could be a permanent signing for us. If so, speak to Graham Potter, speak to Brighton, and say, well, hang on a minute, you've got these players in the Premier League. Can we uh, can we get you a cut price deal on Taylor Richards on a permanent deal? Get him in this squad permanently. Get him on a two, three year deal because Taylor Richards has proved why he's, you know, he's worth the money. Um... Going on the wings then, starting off on the right with John Taylor. I'm going to give him a six. I think he put in a decent shift. Nothing too much uh, ex exciting to shout about. He did put himself about quite a lot, but overall, decent performance. Reese James gets a six. D again, decent shift. Did really well. And, um, you know, again, just showing why he's good in that position. Um, next up for Jiri Okunabiri. My God, that guy. And I didn't think I'd say this after his performances at the start of the season. I'm going to give Fajiri Okunabiri a 9 out of 10. He was my man of the match. Comment down below if Okunabiri was your man of the match. Fajiri Okunabiri is god tier today. He's absolutely god tier. He's not tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 or the new tier 4 in the government. He is god tier where no one can touch him. He's absolutely god tier. And I hope this gives him the confidence to continue that form going forward. You know, he might not start against Shrewsbury or he might do. Um, but we'll see what happens. But I think if he does start, I've got a lot more confidence in him starting after that performance today uh, than I would be at the start of the season. So, fair play to, to Okunabiri. Well done to him. Um, going into the subs bench, Jason Lakilo gets a 6. Decent shift, not too much to shout about. Uh, John Jules gets a 7. Uh, overall, put himself about, did alright. And then finally, Lyric Kasani, I'm going to give him a 7. Again, decent shift when he came on for the last 13 minutes, plus 4 added minutes of time. Uh, so there we go, play ratings. Next two games, but uh, Shrewsbury on Tuesday. That's a must win. And then another home game on Saturday next week against Accrington Stanley. Who are they? Well, they're sort of a few games away from us in hand uh, to approach top of the league. But um, both of them key games. Every single match for us now is a cup match. Every single match is a cup match. And we've got to show that fight, desire, passion that we've shown over the last few weeks. You know, ever since the whole defeat, we've been on a non-stop streak. And why should we stop at three goals? Why not go for four, five, six? Dare to dream, says John Ryan. Dare to dream. We can do that. There's times, there's a couple of times in that Burton match where we could have scored another four, it could have been four or five in that match after a couple more chances. Or could have been fired over the bar in the second half. Could have been four if we kept it down a few inches. Um, and there was a couple of other chances as well. We could have scored more than we did. And that was the that was the most impressive thing. Burton, possession-wise, were all right. They just didn't have anything in the final third. Niall Ennis was poor today. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna say it. Niall Ennis was poor. He did put a couple of chances in, but it weren't clear cut chances in my opinion. So, Niall Ennis, he was poor today, and I think we dodged a bullet with him. Uh, I think he deserves to stay at Wolves. I think we've got the better of the two in Cameron John. Um, and you could tell. You could tell Cameron John immediately was the right choice. I think thinking about it, I was thinking, you know what, Danny Abel save him for Shrewsbury. Because Cameron John was a good choice. Against Shrewsbury, you know, we're going to switch it up a bit. We're going to play Cameron John again. We don't know. Um, but I think Cameron John was the right choice today. Uh, so there we go. So that is the Ratch review. 3-1 uh, against uh, Burton Albion. Away from home. We're going against Shrewsbury next on the Tuesday. So there will be a preview video out on Monday. So stay tuned for that. And for now, guys, my name is Owen Chalner from Forever Rovers. Have a merry, merry Christmas if you're not watching the videos afterwards. And that, my friends... It's full time.